Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about steps to multiplying and dividing fractions. Now, just my personal opinion, uh, multiplying and dividing fractions is, are actually a little bit easier than adding and subtracting fractions. But let's talk about multiplying first, and we'll go from there. Now, when it comes to multiplying fractions, let's just say you have uh, 3 quarter times 5 halves. With multiplying fractions, all you really have to do is multiply across the numerator and the denominator. You could reduce along the way if it allows it, but other than that, it's a pretty straightforward process. In this particular case, there doesn't seem to be a lot of room for reducing, so we're just going to multiply across. 3 times 5 here, you got 15, and then 4 times 2 is going to give you 8. So in this particular case, 3 fourths times 5 halves is going to be 15 eighths. The general pattern of multiplying fractions, like I mentioned before, is just multiply across and you'll be good to go. Dividing is a little bit trickier, but at the end of the day, it's going to be pretty straightforward as well. Suppose you have 2 thirds divided by 7 halves. Now, the one thing to think about when it comes to dividing fractions is it's actually a multiplication exercise. It just involves reciprocals. Because when you divide by 7 halves, you have to take the denominator and you have to find the reciprocal, or flip the fraction, if you will, and then go from there. So 2 thirds divided by 7 halves is actually another way of saying 2 thirds times the reciprocal of 7 halves, which is 2 sevenths, just like that. So dividing fractions is actually another multiplication exercise. So there's a very close relationship there. What you do simply is, like we did above, multiply across. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 7 is 21. So 2 thirds divided by 7 halves gives you 4 over 21. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there's a couple of illustrations on multiplying and dividing fractions.